Popeyes are all in the hood. You might think that you're going to a Popeyes in a nice neighborhood, but you know how an embassy is on like foreign soil technically? Yeah. yeah. All Popeyes exist in the hood. You are now in the damn hood. Hello and welcome to RT Cares, the segment where we take your questions and turn them into dumb answers. Uh, you guys ready to give some advice? Let's give some advice. Let's ruin some lives. I no. no, we'll improve some lives. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> My whole office has started playing the lottery and we've gotten pretty close. It's got me thinking, what should I do and buy if I actually do win the lottery? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, short and sweet. Short and sweet. By that the way, was it. Yeah. Great, no. great question. I love a short, sweet question. Uh, if your office wins the lottery, uh, count on a like Joker audition style <laughs> cracked pool cue fight <laughs> over the money no. and who gets it. Yeah. Um, oh, also count as like say you're say the jackpot is twenty million. Uh, you're taking four million home. The rest is going to taxes. Great is going to Uncle Sam. Got to buy those cluster munitions for a war across the world. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So. Uh, count on it being a lot less money than you think. Um, yeah, way and, less. And, and you're splitting it with a bunch of people in your office. So your take home is probably 250 grand. Uh, I say uh, put that <laughs> put that as a down payment on a house. Yeah. You don't even be able to buy you a house. You can't even buy a house for that. No, you just be able to put a down payment on one. So that's my <laughs> short suite. I'm out. Okay, first of all, <laughs> this, for, this is the worst timeline. 200 and something million or whatever, right? Your take home is probably going to be like, I think it is maybe 50% of that. Sure. So it's still like 100 million, right? How many people do we say they have in their office? Well, let's say 10. 10 people, 100 million. That's still what? 10 million per person. If they're playing um, the, the Powerball jackpot, I was thinking like Texas Lottery, yeah. which is like $6 million jackpots. So. Oh, okay. Well, but let's no, say no, let's, no. let's say Powerball. Let's say we're playing in California, a.k.a. a state that matters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then, yeah, you're taking each of you is taking home maybe like $10 million. Sure. Um, even less than that. Honestly, if you gave me a million dollars, it would change my life forever. Forever. The amount of time between giving me a million dollars and me taking a shit on my boss's desk mm. is maybe... No, the time it takes me to walk there. That's the time difference. There would be a, an Armando-shaped smoke cloud where yeah. he was, and then a spinning chair and a shit on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> you would hear meep meep as poop came out of me onto the desk. And the, here's the worst part. I like my boss. But it's what I, it's what has to be done to just, ensure that I live the rich lifestyle just, forever. Salute. The money just yep. makes you different. <laughs> the money changes you. I love money that just it, makes you I, different. The lo just like the money instantly changing you would be so funny. <laughs> just yeah. it just affects you so horribly, like instantly poisons you. <laughs> I I don't know, man. If I if I won the lottery, um first of all, I'm gonna give you a little a uh, little tip that I've just been thinking about since I heard this question. Uh go out, buy your own lottery ticket, one number off. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the price is right these assholes yeah. and just take the whole thing i think that would be so funny if you guys bought it as an office and then you as an individual won it undercut them that would be perfect first of all i think it's uh you're supposed to always take like not the lump sum settlement right you're supposed to take the like the one where they pay you out over time no i think the the, the move is you take the lump sum settle you take the lump sum because you can take that big chunk of change and put it on a high yield savings account yeah. and basically like live off the interest which is exactly what i would do that's what i would do mm, interesting yeah interest because that, I... that interest like the the lump sum payment interest off of a high yield savings account would almost probably be your like yeah. monthly dole out if you took the uh, allotted like settle the, the allotted amount also interest rates are insane right now yeah it's like my save my, it's like four percent mine's at 4.5 percent right now insane it's crazy yeah i would let's say i get uh what do we max it out to we're calling it 10 million we're calling for the it sake 10, of mil, our 10 mil take you're home. getting 10 mil take home. um 10 million new lottery tickets <laughs> Shut the fucking wish for more wishes ass yes. guy over here you piece of shit million <laughs> more lottery tickets and the thing is is like what what's what what's the odds that i'm gonna win something again i mean pretty good pretty good 10 I, million one I mean, in 10 million chance i'll I take those odds i would I would buy a roll of scratch off tickets. A hundred percent. I would like I'd be like the, whatever the twenty dollar roll. I'd yeah. be like, give me the whole roll. 
And you still have so much money left over, but then you also have an activity to do. Yeah, I would <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, with the rest of your time yeah. when you're not working, you're you, scratching you, you, tickets. You and the Mexican grandmas can hang yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, doing, love, doing the scratchy lottery. Can I tell you guys the one time that uh, I, when I was like, a oh man, I think I turned 15, and mm. my Mexican aunt, my tia, she bought me a scratcher ticket for my birthday. Mm -hmm. Of course, because that's what they all that's what do. You do. Uh, mm -hmm. And I won. I think like $500 yeah. off the scratcher ticket. Yeah. And then she, re or we realized I could not go cash it in because mm. I was underage. Child. Uh -huh. yeah. So she took it and cashed it in and then gave me $100. And it basically said, well, I bought this ticket for you. So it's kind of my ticket. Then she should have taken the dollar back. Yeah. <laughs> then you can have your dollar. But that's what I'm saying is like, she was her insinuation was like i bought this ticket so uh and you're not even old enough to play so it was just sort of like a fun thing so Without, you, sh you shouldn't have even gotten anything so you should be happy with a hundred dollars so she paid you an experience and she basically said if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have even gotten this much you're right i took an internship in winning the lottery <laughs> and it did not end with a paid <laughs> position <laughs> to the fact <laughs> Man, if I that won... is so fucking cold. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. that, I would be that would be something that haunted me to this day. Oh, I'd be like, I got, I got totally butt fucked. Yeah, <laughs> in a fucking scratch off lot. God damn it! The first thing I would do if I won the lottery, hire a hitman. <laughs> Take your aunt out. Yeah, I'm buying a roll of scratch offs and a fucking hitman <laughs> to kill my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> what's the like oh man i feel like if i won the lottery i i, I don't know how to do investments right mm. like i i get that you guys are right like put them in a bank account um put it in like an ira or a portfolio or something i feel like i have hood bank investment ideas mm. where you guys were like you need to reinvest and my brain went mm, 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 you're right chick-fil-a franchise absolutely i mean i was gonna say foolproof. i was gonna say pollo reggio just get a, reggio, get a fucking yeah, yeah. like chicken carbone place yeah i'm, I'm making i'm opening up my own chick-fil-a and i'm making it gay i'm making it the <laughs> gayest chick-fil-a you've ever uh, been to by the way they're all gay, they're all gay. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling me this that yeah. all chick-fil-a's are run by twinks yes i've never been to a chick-fil-a drive-thru and it wasn't like a like just some twink working the, the drive-thru the, the like the most beautiful otter i've ever yeah. seen working the drive-thru i'm like my god it's just yeah. Every yeah. single time. It's because the gays know they pay good. They pay like the most out of like all the fast food. Well, when I was in high school, they paid the most out of all the fast food places. So like, I think they still might. That's and, crazy. And honestly, what 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 sweeter forbidden fruit than getting your DS in the walk in of a Chick fil A? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, so, I don't know, I, I'm sorry to go on a tangent so early into this uh, segment, but um, yeah, I'm sorry to go into a, 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 a tangent, but I feel like I was never, I didn't go to Chick-fil-A mm. when, when I was a kid. I don't know if that's because we didn't have them, but I knew that when we did have them, the news came out that they were like super anti-gay mm. and uh, all of me and all of my friends, we were like, we're not going to go to them. My mother uh, was like, we're not going to go there. Mm. Everyone in my family was like, we're not going to go there. The aunt that bought me the scratcher was like, yeah, I fucking love Chick-fil-A <laughs> now. I, f I feel like, um, as a queer person that will you eat at Chick-fil-A is a more accurate litmus test than the am I gay quiz yeah. because gay people fucking love Chick-fil-A. So no one eats more Chick-fil-A than gay people. That was yeah. what I was working towards is that uh, I was basically hanging out with a lot of my friends who are gay because I have gay friends. Sure. Um, no, I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends who are gay and they were like, we're going to go to Chick-fil-A. And I was like, but you can't, um, but you can't um jerry i hate to be the one to tell this to you but chick-fil-a has some opinions about cock and it's <laughs> not just that they should be used for sandwiches uh and yeah we basically i i got taken to a chick-fil-a i got <laughs> this is so fucked up but i basically use it like i got my c pass my c <laughs> my c fill pass <laughs> Uh, where like uh, I was gifted uh, to it where they were like, nah, it's cool. it's cool. You can say it around us that you go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you can eat it around us. You can you can get waffle fries around us. Yeah, and I had never been there before. I um I had grown up eating like Popeyes and shit and mm. uh 
somebody once explained to me the difference is that Popeyes makes food like uh, you're going to your friend's house and his like overweight grandma is cooking for yeah. you. And then Chick Fil A is like, I read this recipe on the internet, but I think your cholesterol is a little high. <laughs> I'm gonna make it for you all nice. I mean, like Popeyes, like first of all, I've never seen an ad for Chick Fil A. I don't know. They just got word of mouth marketing, I guess, and it's all bad press. So I don't know how they. It makes them thrive and survive. But Chick Fil A, if I or um, but Popeyes, I think of Popeyes. I'm like, well, there's that one campaign, years long campaign about the po' boy sandwiches, and yep. then there's that one really nice black lady that's in all the commercials, and they love that chicken from Popeyes. Like that's all yeah. I think about. So like they have the better, they have the better um, um marketing, but the lo the locations are not. Um, oh, the my... locations are not. I if maybe if they spent less money on the marketing, the the restaurants would be friendlier. Every yeah. every Popeyes, no matter what time of day you go to, they treat you like they're about to close. Yes, yes. yeah, hundred percent. I didn't want to... <laughs> every Popeyes, and the reason for this is it's not it's not just Popeyes. It's a phenomenon that you experience when you go to restaurants that are what? Say it with me. In, in the, the hood. hood. If it's, oh a, my it's God. a Popeyes, if it's a churches, if it's a, 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 a fucking Waffle House, a Waffle House, a Long John Silver, I can keep going. Yeah, you can. I've it, never doesn't, seen... it does not matter if your restaurant never closes. If it's in the hood, you walk in and they're like, "We were about to close." We're about to close. <laughs> I was about to go smoke this fat blonde real quick. <laughs> It's so funny. There's a Popeyes near the office that I I went to one time when the chicken sandwich came out with my old boss Tim. Yeah. And uh, we go. It's the middle of the day, lunchtime. Line down the block. Yeah. And it's not because of the sandwich. It's because this place they sell drugs at that Popeyes out the window, <laughs> and everyone knows, and no one cares. So if you're like, oh, I want to, it's like, well, we can go to that one. There's one like four miles further that way but we'll be able to get food yeah i don't know yeah. but i do need an eight ball i though. also need yeah i was hoping to get some crack with my fucking chicken sandwich i needed to get i needed to get a wink sweet tea <laughs> that ain't sugar on the bottom oh, sir no uh, sir <laughs> some booger sugar i there are two things that i love the, the most about popeyes and it, and it extends <laughs> you know what it extends past popeyes again it's any restaurant in the hood <laughs> Where you don't necessarily order food like you would at a regular restaurant, no, right? It no, happens at a Popeyes. It no. happens at a Waffle House. You go to a Denny's or a fucking Chick-fil-A, you order what you order, you get exactly what you order. <laughs> Ordering in the hood is like wishing for Christmas presents. <laughs> Where you you go? I want a chicken sandwich, and they give you something in it's, the ballpark. Yeah, they give you like a pe they give you they give you a three piece dark with a biscuit, no honey, <laughs> no honey, no honey, and your drink is incorrect. You're like, can I get a strawberry Fanta? And then you just get it's yellow. You're like, well, I guess it's. I hope it's lemonade. I I <laughs> shit you not. I shit you not. Every time I go to a papa, anytime I go to a restaurant in the hood, I order two meals. Yeah, and, me too. And one, I don't, I'm not even that hungry, but I'm ordered two meals because between the two, you it's going to be, meal. I'm going to get the thing I ordered. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, no, I'll take the biscuit that I needed from this one and put it in this place. And then the fries and there's, and now I got my thing. Great. On Saturday uh, at RTX, we were all like really fucking hungry. We were all talking about what food we were going to get. And Blizz goes, I'm going to DoorDash some Popeyes. And we all went like, oh, well, you're not going to get what you ordered no. and he goes what are you talking about and I was like the Popeyes won't give you what you ordered when you're there in, in the drive -thru. Exactly. and if you tell them that they're wrong they'll fucking take the apron off <laughs> and fight you there's no way you're going to get what you ordered through a DoorDash and he went no 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 I'm going to the nice one I'm going <laughs> and I told him the 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 heartbreaking truth which is that Popeyes are all in the hood you might think that you're going to a Popeyes in a nice neighborhood but you know how an embassy is on like foreign soil technically yeah, yeah. all Popeyes Popeyes exist in the hood. The moment you cross the threshold into the parking lot, you are now in the hood. You are now in the damn hood. I the whole fucking control room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone agreed. Let, oh, by it the doesn't way, matter. It doesn't matter where you're. It doesn't matter. Door dashing Popeyes is playing food telephone. Oh, you don't know oh. what the fuck you're going to get. It's Door just. 
DoorDashing Popeyes, they might just go. You might you get your fucking bag and it's just Taco Bell. And it's just like I don't know where our wires got crossed. Like the, I, it's like okay, it's like you literally you go to, like because here's the thing. You're, no, but you you say that if you order directly from the Popeyes app, which you think is the correct way to do it, it's not. There is no correct way to order Popeyes. If you do it through the Popeyes app, they just send it to DoorDash and then you cannot communicate with your Dasher until they get to your door. Yep. The Popeyes app is. Is just by the way, <laughs> tweeting at Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, please. <laughs> and then you get a, and then an hour later you get a bag with the driest biscuit you'll ever eat and two fucking eight balls of cocaine. Yeah. And again, none of that honey, none of that wet, wet, no. watery honey. They I haven't gotten a honey packet since like 2016. <laughs> I'm not sure they exist. No, they don't. I d- <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what we're trying to say um is if you win the lottery. <laughs> Buy a Popeyes, buy yes. Yes. and sell drugs out of the fucking. <laughs> and I thank you. I hope this helped. Oh, hello. It's me, millionaire playboy Armando Torres. I'm enjoying my time off since I invested in all of those hood restaurants. What restaurants would you invest in? Or how would you actually spend money? Please, I am hemorrhaging money. My Popeyes is not doing well because I refuse to sell drugs out of the drive-thru. I really need your help. So leave a comment and help me out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to listen to the full episode, you can by going to roosterteeth.com. Now, excuse me. I need to get back to my stories.